Continuing coverage from the Orlando, Florida area, uh, Orange County, where there has been a discovery, as we've been mentioning throughout the throughout the afternoon or, or late morning, for those of you on the West Coast, of what we believe to be the remains of a small child not far from the home of the mother and grandparents of the Central Florida girl who has been missing now for months, uh, little Kaylee Anthony. And uh, the sheriff of, or of Orange County, Florida, Kevin Barry, as, as, I, as I mentioned, has has been in law enforcement in, in Central Florida for decades and will be wrapping up his, his term as sheriff in Orange County at the end of this year. Uh, and it would appear now that uh, by a bit of happenstance, they've been able to recover some remains that are widely believed to potentially at least be those of the little girl for whom they've been searching in Orange County uh, using a great number of resources and uh, blood, sweat and tears over the past few months and until today have, have been unsuccessful finding it, finding much of anything. They had a lot of help from volunteer organizations from around Central Florida and, and across the country. And, and I would venture to say, uh, I don't think it would be a stretch to say that they've had some people who have uh, bordered on interfering with all of this. Uh, when, when it becomes such a big media event, there seem to be people who just come in from everywhere, from bail bondsmen and others who come in to try to participate in the process. But now it would appear we've reached another milestone, and Sheriff Kevin Barry is live with us now on technical problems. Okay. Sheriff, uh, it's, it's good to see you today. What can you tell us? Well, we uh, have recovered the remains, and they have been taken to the medical examiner's office off of uh, Suburban Street in uh, eastern Orange County. And uh, it's uh, the same cooperative effort we've had all along. We, the FBI lab's on board, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement. It's been a team effort. We're very proud of uh, what's been accomplished, but we still got a lot to do. And uh, we're securing the uh, Anthony home, uh, as well as uh, the crime scene. We'll be out here all night, uh, and uh, we'll resume uh, more of the uh, uh, search area tomorrow for evidence. Uh, is there, Sheriff, with, without getting into the details of the investigation, because the last thing we want to do is compromise it for you, but was there anything on that site where these remains were found that, maybe even without being specific, that might lead you to believe that in fact you are under the remains of this missing child? Well, I think just the fact that uh, we've got uh, the remains of a, a small child uh, is, is probably uh, uh, the biggest issue at hand, but... Uh, you know, we're taking it very carefully. Uh, we've, our state attorney here, Lawson Lamar, is uh, asked us not to talk about evidence and things like that. And uh, we've got a lot of work to do at the crime scene. We also have got a lot of work to probably do back at the Anthony House with another search warrant. Sheriff, there, it's, it's such a sad case, but and in addition, along the way, there have been so many things to happen during the course of this investigation, so many conflicts at the scene of the Anthony home. You've had bail bondsmen coming in. You've had search teams coming in. What has this been like for you and the men and women who serve Orange County? Well, uh, I would have to say that, uh, first of all, we've had thousands of volunteers and a lot of people with a lot of good hearts that have uh, really done all they could to help uh, find the missing child. And that was our uh, main concern the whole time. Uh, for some that want to turn things into a circus, well, you expect that, and that's what happens. But uh, bottom line is the Orange County Sheriff's Office and all the other law enforcement people are going to uh, conduct themselves in a professional manner, and we're going to solve this case one step at a time. Understood, Sheriff. I, I was, you know, along, along the way, uh, Sheriff Barry, in the past, we, we've seen a lot of you on investigations over the years, and I was somewhat surprised that, that you were not one who was making comments on this. T take us through the, the thoughts on that as you went along. Well, first of all, uh, uh, you know, I've been a high profile for a number of years, and I still am, but you need to know when to turn it on and turn it off. When you have qualified people that are public information officers and, and detectives and detective supervisors, they know what they're doing, and uh, I don't need to babysit anybody. But the uh, bottom line is uh, uh, when I need to speak, uh, I will speak, and I can assure you, Shepard, as uh, you said it earlier, I can assure you that this is no lame duck sheriff. So uh, we're out here taking care of business right to the end. I, I, I would have expected nothing less. Uh, his, history as guide. And, Sheriff, I, one thing, uh, on a personal note, this, this has been an enormous case for the people of Central Florida and for the men and women of your department. Your, your term as sheriff will end after many years serving Orange County. And I just wonder if there isn't, if there isn't a feeling there, thank goodness this was done while I was still around to supervise it. 
Well, uh, hopefully uh, that's what we'll determine here in the investigation. And absolutely, you know, uh, this has been a very high-profile case. And uh, let's just say I, I'm very proud of the professionalism displayed by law enforcement. We, uh, sheriffs get paid to uh, take a beating, and that's all right. That's what I get paid for. But uh, uh, deep down inside, I'm feeling uh, pretty good right now. You, you, you see a lot of sadness in your job, but as a family man yourself, uh, it's, it's hard to think of anything much sadder than all of the circumstances surrounding this one. Well, Shepard, I'll tell you, uh, uh, this, this case has gone worldwide. And uh, I recently did a training in Brazil, and they knew about this case in Brazil. So, uh, you know, as a, as a dad, you have to uh, you feel for the family. And, uh, but I can assure you that we will do everything one step at a time. It will be totally done the right way because we've got to prepare this case for court now. Sheriff Ke Kevin Barry, Orange County in the Orlando area in Florida. Sheriff Barry, great to see you again. Thank you.